Hi, I'm Melissa, the CEO and founder of Network Locum. I'm Sarah with Trial Reach. Hi, my name is Sandra Sasso and I'm the CEO of Seat Energy. Hi, my name's Victoria Yoda. I'm the founder and CEO of Intern Avenue. I'm Jess Butcher, co-founder of Blipper. My name's Susan Harvey. I'm the CEO of Vocality. I'm Tamara Raja, and I'm the founder and CEO of Live Better With. My name's Lucy. I co-founded Village Infrastructure, and now I lead on public policy for open energy. I'm Caroline Plum. I'm the founder of Fresh Minds. Hi, I'm Emily, and I am the CEO and founder of CNET. Hi, I'm Dana Denis Smith. I am the founder and CEO of Obelisk Support. Sinclair here, co-founder of Enterprise Jungle. Sarah McVitie, um, co-founder of A Temple Recipe. Hello, Mummy! Hello, Mummy! We hope you're having a really awesome trip. Oh, thank you! And we can't wait to see you on Friday. Friday! Be inspired by female entrepreneurs. We want to see you get three things out of this week. Practical tips for these amazing um, female entrepreneurs in the UK of how to scale their businesses, having experience of investors and what are the best ways to get investment from this part of the world, meeting some inspirational people, some inspirational women in particular to just uh, help them reach the skies. The fact that we were able to identify such phenomenal scale-ups, all women-led, has meant that we've been able to open really amazing doors. On our way to Facebook, here we are at Facebook in their amazing nine acre rooftop garden. We just arrived at Eventbrite having some breakfast. Oh, hi people. Uh, our time at Uber was really amazing. We got to hear from a wonderful woman who told us all about um, some of the challenges that they have to scaling business. And, it gave me a lot to think about. We're obsessive about competition on a global scale, not just in our local market. The biggest thing was spending a lot more time up front, making sure there was customer market fit versus diving right into the technology. But think global, act local, and never give up on that dream um, because it's going to fuel everything. Focus on creating the village that has diverse thought rather than trying to find one or two mentors. I think that's probably been one of the most helpful things for me as an entrepreneur. You really need to hire someone that is aligned with your vision and, and kind of really believes the mission of your company. Lock up your data and walk in a room anticipating the answers and having your story straight. And I hope that everyone is now suffused with a sense of the Uber that we're going to become within the next couple of years. And they can say, they saw it here just after we entered. That's the, that's the idea anyway. It's about passion. It's about, if you truly think that this is the only thing you can do with your life and with your time, then you might succeed at this impossible task that is entrepreneurship. This is what they what they can't help but do. And, uh, and you can see it, you can see it in people's eyes. And, uh, and it's exciting, it's what gets me excited every day.